So we just had the announcement that some settings are gonna be announced for Halo Infinite. How Halo Infinite actually calculates your kill death assist ratio and Halo Infinite out trends Call of Duty and Battlefield and why that's so important. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. The channel that keeps you updated with everything going on with Halo. And today, guys, we got some good news about some competitive settings that we're gonna be announced, as well as some statistical information that you guys want to know when it comes to playing Halo, if you're actually doing well in the game, and how the hype for Halo Infinite is beyond any other shooter out there right now. So I'm super excited to give you guys this information. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this, and it really helps out the channel get a better place within the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So first on the news, guys, we got some information about the ranked slash competitive world premiere video coming out later. That's right, we're gonna get the information on ranked settings for Halo Infinite, which will also be in parity with the competitive ranking as well. Tashi says right here, who's the head of HCS saying, filming the ranked slash competitive world premiere video today. Look for a full blog interview and sandbox multiplayer and competitive insights team, as well as a full gameplay start to finish dropping later this week. So big news guys coming for like ranked competitive and also ranked settings as well guys. I'm very excited about this because I am certainly looking to grind out Halo Infinite. I want to jump in, play some ranked modes, and you know, I want to get to like Onyx tier. That's my goal when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. Because we do know that the bronze to champion ranking system from Halo 5 is returning for Halo Infinite. And trust me, once that information does go live, I'll be sharing it on the channel, guys, so you can stay up to date, so you can save you the TLDR and just listen to all the great news coming for it. Though honestly, my biggest issue with ranked right now is that there is still the strict input-based matchmaking where mouse and keyboard will only be matching mouse and keyboard, controller will only be matching controller in ranked modes. Where on the HCS side of thing, where like it actually counts and money is on the line, that's like mixed inputs. Anybody can use whatever input they want. I have a feeling that this is going to be an issue that's going to be lurking after the launch of Halo Infinite where people are going to be jumping in wanting to play together and be like, wait, I can't play with my friend because he's on controller or he's on keyboard or mouse or whatever. I don't see why you just can't have like a toggle on and off option like we have with MCC to have players who are using different inputs to join in on the ranked fun. Because ultimately, like, yeah, it is important to have a very fair and balanced experience when playing ranked modes, but ultimately, it's all just for like internet clout and numbers. And it's, I think it's better just to let people play together rather than be so focused on having a fair and balanced experience. That's what competitive like HCS events are for. But hey, that's my opinion. Next bit of news we have for you guys is an article from Kotaku who has a conversation with multiplayer developer Andrew Witz at 343 talking about how your kill, death, and assist ratios are calculated. Cause it's not just super straightforward. There's a little bit of math to it. Saying here that in the same as Halo 5 Guardians, what the way you'll be seeing the KDA ratio showcasing, it's kills plus assists divided by three minus deaths. And then divide that together, that's your kill death assist ratio. So yes, that does confirm that assists count as a third of a kill, which honestly I find kind of fair because in Halo, assists mean a lot. It don't really, really do. I mean, it's so much more than just like, oh, I didn't finish off the kill kind of stuff like you see with like Battlefield and Call of Duty and things like that. It really showcases how much you're helping out your team rather than just like not being able to finish out a kill. So all you players out there who are like, my kills got stolen, I had 12 assists that game, just know that's bumping up your stats quite a bit for your kills section of your kill death and assist ratio. Now I'd also like to know just like my raw kill death ratio as well as that it's a kind of a much more of a simpler kind of statistic people can understand and kind of relate to other games as well. I don't remember seeing any form of like statistic tracking or anything like that within the flights that we played but I'm assuming they will be there once the game launches. Though me personally I would still like to see like that traditional kill death ratio showcased in game because it's a very true metric that people often use between all other games out there to kind of just judge if you're like a decent player or not. And also me being like about the details, I do love my statistics. I mean, it's part of my job as well, just dealing with numbers and stuff like that all day long during the real life world stuff that I do. The Twitter account Halo.API has put together some really interesting things you can do with statistics within Halo Infinite. In fact, they provided this link right here. If you just change your gamer tag within the URL, you can check out your stats within Halo Infinite. So for full exposure, here are my statistics from my experience playing the Halo Infinite flight. 
As you can see, you have your traditional kill death ratio, your accuracy, and your damage dealt, which is also a very important statistic to know when it comes to playing. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so we want to check out your statistics as well. Again, just look into the URL and just change my gamer tag to whatever your gamer tag is, and you'll be able to find your statistics if you had a chance to play the flight. Now, I really hope there are a full list of statistics when it comes to the release of Halo Infinite because those are great measurements to understand if you are actually improving at the game. Because to me, that's where I find the, the addiction of playing multiplayer is when you're seeing that improvement happen over time that you just want to keep doing and doing it's like you're leveling up in a way with just plain regular multiplayer but also statistics aren't everything though especially kda so especially with skill-based matchmaking coming back in halo infinite as well uh, it will most likely try to like level out that kd ratio a little bit as well so like a low two player could have a 1.5 kd as well as like a high tier champ player could also have like a 1.5 kd but obviously it depends on the type of people you're playing against that's why like the overall ranking system of bronze to champ which is coming back in halo infinite is gonna be very important to keep right as well and as well as a matchmaking mmr ranking as well which is going to be displayed this time within the game which is fantastic now in some amazing news which is so reassuring squeeze in some little hopium right there because guys halo infinite is trending more on google compared to battlefield 2042 and call of duty vanguard which is so awesome to see this is one of my main concerns is that like obviously halo's infinite is a great game you can see actually these spikes right here that each spike when it comes like the release and the reveal of the Halo Infinite 2021 and then the first flight, the second flight also right here, you can see how these peaks are much higher than like anything Call of Duty or Battlefield have been able to accomplish consistently at least. Now obviously you see Battlefield right here trending up a little bit on the red line because of the beta that's live right now. Though it's just super great to see that people are talking about Halo again. This was actually one of my biggest concerns when it comes to Halo Infinite, not the fact that it will be trending or it's a trendy game or anything like that, is that people are showing interest in Halo. I think a part of this trending higher than other games is partially because we've been away for so long, right? Call of Duty comes out with a new game every year. It's kind of like, yeah, we expected it, kind of usual, whatever. Battlefield comes out with a new game like every two, three, sometimes four years, I think, or something like that. So it's still a bit of hype right there for sure. But a lot of people, as in the majority of the gaming community, hasn't really played a Halo game since like Halo 3 or Halo Reach for that fact. So it's been probably close to 10 years. So Halo Infinite has the advantage of being like a more of a newer experience for the larger gaming community as a whole, which I think lends to the reason why it's trending more than Battlefield or Call of Duty. Because my biggest concern with Halo Infinite was not that it was going to be a good game or not. So far we've played it. It does feel great to play the multiplayer was just the fact if the general gaming community as a whole is interested in a game like Halo, because we've seen the popularity of Halo obviously decline after Halo 3. Now, is that because people are tired of Halo? Or is it because the gameplay isn't that great? Or maybe just people are just not liking the games as much as a whole? Or maybe people just don't really like arena shooters anymore because maybe they don't feel too fair or easy to pick up. But seeing this graph right here has given me reassurance that people are interested in Halo. They're excited about it and they definitely are going to play it. Halo Infinite's multiplayer is going to be free to play compared to these other shooters. So the only thing that's going to be holding you back from playing the game is your effort. And well, I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into Halo Infinite. Even the very popular Modern Warzone Twitter account, which has over 400,000 followers on it because they've been known for their kind of leaks and information about Call of Duty Warzone for the most part. They're talking about after playing all of these betas that we've had the chance to play so far, they said that Halo Infinite is will have the best multiplayer of all the major FPS releases this season. Saying also that that doesn't really line up with me being a COD shell because he's nothing but Call of Duty news. But after all three betas, Halo Infinite fell above and beyond the best multiplayer again just reassuring to me that like yes people outside of halo do really like halo infinite and for the last bit of halo news for you guys a new diorama has been revealed for halo infinite it showcases a battle between master chief and ashram with some little bit of customization as you can see here between like the weapon and sword and it looks like even positioning that you can do within this diorama and it looks pretty freaking sweet i mean i would love to put this on my bookshelf i might even have to do that as well but i think i might hold off on the buying of this because this thing is retailing for 470 dollars like yes i understand it's like a foot tall and like a little bit over a foot wide and stuff like that and it's really well made and it looks like it's customizable as well but the thing is this is almost $500. This is absolutely insane. So I think I might actually hold off, but if you have the money and you love Halo Infinite, 
this is what you can do. So if you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out the playlist right here. I got linked to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.